Are you in the club? show you hamsters in the house. We have the supermarket, whoosh, the styling studio, woo, and the hamster house. Okay, so I have not played with this yet, but it looks really fun. So let's open it up, get it all put together. and a lot of little twist ties. Ugh. Oh, now this is adorable. We have a lavender hamster that came with the grocery store. Ooh, and a shopping cart full of groceries. This is cute. There's like a little bin for vegetables. Hmm. Okay, let's get our track put together. Before we assemble our supermarket or grocery store, I wanted to show you guys something. This is the entire hamster world. So these are all of the different things that you can buy and collect, and then you can customize them by adding them all together. So we have the supermarket, which is this part, and then we have a couple of other little pieces and we can add those and kind of customize what we have now. So I think that will be really fun. And then on this side of the little booklet that comes with it, we can see all of the different hamsters that we can collect. So in the supermarket set, we got Periwinkle right there. So I wonder which other ones we have in our other sets. This is the studio playset, and the studio playset comes with Daisy. Daisy's really cute. So she's kind of pink and she has some little glittery pieces, just like Periwinkle. So that's cute, and this is different. As you can see, there's no track. There's a little mirror and a comb and a tiara. <laughs> that's funny. But then the studio playset, isn't a hard plastic playset like the supermarket. It is like a heavy paper or kind of a light cardboard. So, hmm, we'll get that set up, but I am excited to get our supermarket going. So let's put that together. Let's get the track set up and then we will open the hamster house as well so that we can see, oh, we can see now who we have. So it looks like we have Zora right here on the end. So Zora is black and white. So we'll get the supermarket set up and then we'll open the hamster house and then we'll put them all together. Okay, so here it is all assembled. As you can see, it has the track that goes all the way around. And there's a blue button right here. If we press that, it lifts this little piece of purple track. There's also an upstairs and it looks like this little roundabout has a hole so that we can drop things right down this little chute. See how that works? See my pencil going in and out like that? So let's give it a try. We'll spin it around, down the hole, and right down the chute. You can see on the top here that there are little cardboard pullouts. So this shows some different grocery store items. And take a look at this. 
So if you wanted to, you could swap those around. And this is a little shelf. That's where I had the milk sitting. There's also a little gate that opens and closes. Now we can let our hamsters loose. I don't wanna to forget to show you this. We have a little cash register. You press the button and the door pops open. And then this is the little shelf and it has a picture of the grapes, apples and bananas. So I placed those there and we're gonna slide those right into the grocery store. On the bottom of each hamster, there is a little on and off switch. We're gonna turn it on and feel our little hamster shaking. Here we go. Whoa! Now let's close the gate. Oh! Now, let's do some grocery shopping. So, we'll place our cart here and we have some bananas in our little roundabout. So let's buy some bananas. This is the hamster house and here is Zora. She's cute, she has zebra stripes. So we are going to add the little house and let's see here. Then we'll have two hamsters running around in our hamster world. Okay, we'll load some groceries, cash register, cart. Oh no. <laughs> See the little brushes on the bottom here? I think those are what keep the little hamsters on the track. So I was thinking that Zora, I think Zora's faster. We'll have to have a race at the end. Zora's turn to grocery shop. That's as far as it can go. It doesn't fit through the house. Okay, now we can add our styling studio and sweet little Daisy ah, into the mix. So let's get, let's see, we'll put the mirror here or maybe actually let's put it right up here. And then we have a tiara and the little brush. And we'll have Daisy take a whirl around the track. We can take a minute to groom her. <laughs> and then see the little mirror? She can take a look at herself. I think she likes what she sees. We'll set her back here and let's brush everyone's hair. What do you think, Periwinkle? I like it. <laughs> and where is Zora? Way back here. Zora doesn't really have much hair, so let's try this. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. What do you think? <laughs> Okay, so now let's see if they can all ride around on the track. Okay, here we go. It's time for Daisy to do some grocery shopping. Now, we ran out of groceries, but guess what we can use? Some Shopkins. So, I have some Shopkins loaded up in our grocery store. Let's see what we get here. I think the car is too heavy to push. She had a lot of stuff in there. Okay guys, that's all I have for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing and learning more about hamsters in a house. Bye-bye, I'll see you soon.